A delay in the distribution of test kits has Massachusetts teachers unions calling for schools to stay closed on Monday. That's when they are set to return from holiday break. Two teachers unions are not happy with the state's decision. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has the details on this story and how Rhode Island is taking a different approach. She joins us now with the details. Well, Massachusetts teachers want to move remotely until they get their at home tests that they were promised, but the state's education commissioner said no. Now ahead of the largest teachers union is calling that decision reckless. Students and teachers in Massachusetts will go back to school Monday, even though educators wanted to delay the return because they aren't getting the at-home COVID test that they were anticipating on Friday. Instead, unions want to use what would have been the start of school as a day to administer tests to teachers and staff. Remote learning isn't on the table, according to Governor Charlie Baker. Kids need to be in school. It's reckless and irresponsible to say everybody in school at all costs. Ongoing supply chain restraints are causing 200,000 at-home COVID-19 tests to be delayed. They will be delivered to teachers this weekend instead of Friday. This comes as the Bay State experiences a surge of cases, hitting a new single-day record of more than 21,000 positive cases this week. A second teachers' union is echoing the need to go to remote learning. The American Federation of Teachers in Massachusetts tweeted the governor and education commissioner quote, must acknowledge that returning students to school on Monday will inevitably make the crisis much worse. Rhode Island is taking a different approach to returning kids to the classroom by prioritizing testing for K through 12. So at our state sites, even though the availability is limited, those those appointments are set aside. Now, teachers and staff are not required to take those tests, but are encouraged to do so 24 hours before returning to school in Massachusetts. Now, one of a handful of states, the Bay State, is supplying rapid tests to its teachers. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. Two of the largest teachers union in Massachusetts are calling for schools to move to remote learning because of a delay in COVID-19 home testing kits that were promised to educators. But the education commissioner isn't on board. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with what teachers unions are saying and why they believe the state's decision is irresponsible. Anita. Well, Chelsea, 200,000 at home tests were supposed to be delivered to Massachusetts school districts today, but now they won't arrive until this weekend. Teachers say they need more time to test all school staff, but the education commissioner isn't willing to halt in person learning. Massachusetts teachers unions and Governor Charlie Baker's administration at odds over whether schools should return to in person learning after the holiday break. Head of the Massachusetts Teachers Association is calling the administration reckless for refusing to move to remote learning. That's how you jeopardize kids' health and safety, and that's how you put the entire Commonwealth at risk. The Department of Elementary and Secondary Education said schools will not close Monday, saying, quote, it is disappointing that once again the MTA is trying to find a way to close schools, which we know is to the extreme detriment of our children. Supply chain issues are causing the delay of at-home COVID-19 tests. Unions want to use what would have been the start of school as a day to administer tests to teachers and staff. Tests should have been ordered. Uh, delivered and sent home with educators before the doors shut for the winter recess. The governor says remote learning isn't on the table. If we learn anything from this pandemic, it's the damage that was done to kids should never be repeated. Rhode Island's approach is a bit different, relying on testing at state-run sites for schools. We also have always prioritized uh, our pre-kindergarten through 12 uh, testing lines. Now, teachers unions in the Commonwealth want the governor to be flexible with remote learning in the coming weeks once schools return from break, something Governor Charlie Baker is strongly against. Amanita Buffoni, 12 News.